I'm going to show you several videos of my puppy searching from today. Let me note a couple of things. Um, she's only had a week's worth of nose work training. This is her second time searching away from home. She has a focused response for her alert, which means that she has been trained to work her way to the highest concentration of odor and just freeze. Uh, these are obviously all pretty short searches too. The reason I'm making this video is to show how to reinforce searching behavior with a marker or clicker. Many detection systems that utilize a marker tend to put the most effort into reinforcing the response and they don't often prioritize the search. And I think that's a really big flaw. When we look at the three components of a detection dog, while they're all vital, hunt drive or the search is by far the most important. Odor recognition is just classical conditioning. The response is fairly easy to teach too. Hunt drive, not so much. Having a dog reliably search when we want, where we want, and for what we want can be tricky for dogs that haven't been selectively bred for it, which is a majority of dogs competing in nose work. When our reinforcement history for the response outcompetes that of the search, we're probably going to run into false and fringe alert problems. Another popular method, one which doesn't use a marker, advises that searches periodically be paired. This ensures that the dogs are rewarded the moment they reach the hide. What I'm doing here with my pup is essentially the same thing, but by using a marker and not pairing, there's just more clarity and finesse. I've lowered my response criteria in favor of reinforcing her for simply searching and sourcing odor. I'm clicking at least on her first encounter with a hide the moment she makes contact with it, before she has a chance to respond. On the returns, I alternate between immediately clicking and we're just waiting her out and seeing if she responds, which she does. Some people find the analogy of other competitive dog sports valuable here. I wouldn't ask my puppy to heal, down, sit, retrieve, etc. in a new location before she had already offered me her, her focus. Engagement on me in that context is a primary criteria and that's what I would like to reward in new locations until she had a bit more experience. Then I'd start cueing her into the various trained behaviours. If you don't have focus, you don't have obedience and if you don't have the search, you don't have a detection dog.